it's well, it's it's my first time, so it wasn't quite as exciting as when a Disney movie drops. Yeah, um, because there's a lot of you know anticipation and drums being beat before the movie comes out, and there's hardcore fans. It comes into the cinema that was before pandemic, um, and and then you get the numbers, and it's a good weekend or not a good weekend, and hopefully it's a hit, and all that stuff. In Netflix, um, they didn't. There was not much advertising for the movie. Yes. So. Um, Everybody I knew and had worked on the movie and everybody I could engage was like, put it out on social media, talk about it, put it on, you know, like, so I've never really pushed a movie on social media, but this one I tried as much as possible because you have to get on the top 10, mm. you know, then people start seeing it. And I, I was pretty convinced if people see it, they're probably going to like it because, you know, I, I like it. So yeah. um, you kind of hope, you know, yeah. Um. So uh, what was exciting was um, seeing it in the cinema. Like we had, like I said, we did it in the pandemic. So um, the screen I was working on was like, like I'm looking at you right now. It's a computer screen, and we only had like a couple of times where we could check checked in the cinema if it if it kind of checks out a couple of sequences. But to see the whole thing in the cinema for the first time was amazing, and that was an Annecy. And so you have this. I don't know how many people were there, like 900 animation nerds in one cinema <laughs> and you show your movie for the first time oh sorry oh you're fine uh, you sh sorry oh, yeah. uh, you, so you you show your movie to that crowd and they're they're excited that that was like the best because um yeah i mean i i mean we did make the movie on a little screen and it is made for tv in some way because it's netflix but um but it's we also try to make we all want to make cinema movies really you know so yeah sorry well there we go do you, do you hear that sound over there uh, I don't I don't think so my hearing okay, my, my hearing's really bad anyway that was my phone ringing it's probably filtered out so sorry about that little uh, yeah, gap here. It's perfect. Um, yeah. So, and then later on, the numbers come in. It's really hard to say uh, what's the success. Like, and I know it in in ticket sales. You know, like Topia hit a billion. That was amazing. You know. Yeah. But in Netflix, so I think the the numbers we we got just like a, a couple of weeks ago was that it was watched 165 million Holy hours. Shit. Um, in the first 28 days, which is <laughs> the most insane. successful animation movie that Netflix made so far. So they're happy. You guys uh, got to be happy too. What does that feel like? Uh, well, I actually calculated what that's in years. That's like nearly 19,000 years. That's Holy insane. shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> that is insane. Uh, yeah. So, so it's, uh, I don't know. It's like, what's going to, it's interesting to, um, like I saw, I got a lot of feedback. I um, I, I watched the the stuff coming into in, on Twitter and so on, what people liked. That's always really interesting. It's like a learning uh, opportunity for me to oh, to yeah. what landed and what didn't. Um, but what's exciting is then years later when you meet somebody um, that you know like uh, studied animation at the time, and you know, like I had one moment with Zootopia where I was um, on some thing in china and a little boy came up to me and and the translator told him i was working Zootopia, and he was like yeah i love that movie that's the that's the amazing thing when you then meet some meet somebody that's so remote and so somewhere else in i don't know russia or wherever you know having watched that movie and liked it that that's the awesome part like the numbers you know what are there of the abstract really absolutely man and that, that's really nineteen thousand. and then that's like you know me back then watching the jungle book <laughs> it absolutely is you can see yourself in that little yeah. kid that comes up exactly. to you and say, i loved what you did in zootopia you can see yourself like oh shit is that what i looked like when i got the bug for animation right. you know that, that's, that's something really special and, and and thank you for sharing i really like hearing that but it's a it's a crazy reach that you have there um another thing that that was interesting is that uh in, I'm, I'm used to really being very nitpicky about the colors and 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 every little pixel mm -hmm. um and at netflix we were told we were still nitpicky we just told it you know the best we could do 
but they said you know like every tv has a different setting um you can't really control what the movie is going to look like when people watch it like it's going to look like this on the iphone and like that with you know where people like tvs can only really separate them to each other from you know being more colorful or more contrasty or something like that so they crank it up and you have no control <laughs> which so is a little weird when i want to circle back to, to something because i always think this is a really cool really cool moment because <clears throat> whenever you guys are making something you guys are go 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 head down trying to build a world trying to build a movie you guys got deadlines schedule you know, a lot of times people are behind or they might be ahead, but then they go quickly behind really quick just by one little issue, you know. But one thing that I absolutely love is when you get to experience something that you guys worked years on with a live audience, right? Mm -hmm. So obviously this is after, was you, you said you got to screen it in Annecy uh, yeah. post-pandemic, right? This year, yeah. Okay, cool. So obviously everybody's emotions everybody's everybody's hyped up because they had just spent two years during a lockdown they, you know right. everybody is se segregated essentially everybody is isolated mm -hmm. so now it's opened up and then everybody's back out so i gotta imagine the energy already was pretty raucous it was pretty crazy you know everybody was pumped to go out and do something with other people what was it like for you sitting in that crowd just watching people watch what you helped bring to life what was that like Good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I tell you, it's like, uh, um, it's um, I. I mean, you know, I kind of like a lot of the time people are quiet, which is a good thing too. You know, like uh, it's our movie is not not super gag driven. You know, there's a couple of jumps and so on. Uh, what's really awesome is what people like put on Twitter afterwards. That's yeah. that's where where <laughs> like because in the cinema, I just want them to absorb it and enjoy it and and so on. You know. Um, I remember uh, Chris, he, you know, he he wasn't sure if he wanted to watch the movie with the crowd. And then eventually he decided, yes, he did. But then he was sitting like way in the back somewhere. And when the movie was over, uh, one of the, uh, um, you know, the guards that, do, you know, checks the tickets and so on, uh, was standing behind him and said, magnifique. And that was like the best moment for Chris. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's like little things like that. Or, you know, it's, it's just... Um, yeah, people. When when people notice something specific, for example, uh, in in this movie, we made sure that the cast is really diverse, and we spend a lot of time taking um, skin color and hair texture and all that stuff really seriously. Um, and then there's a, like a lot of uh, you know tweets of you know young African American girls saying, you know, I finally saw myself in the film, and thank you so much for doing that. And that's that stuff's really awesome. Yeah, that's really cool, man. Um, during this, during this, uh, I, I want to stick on this this topic for just a second. But during this whole ordeal, do you guys get to do a Q and A after the movie after it's finished, or is it just showing and then you guys had to leave? Um, this one, well, there was like a separate uh, making off panel. Okay. So I have done the like we. I have like a a nine minute, a twelve minute, and a twenty four minute uh, making off section that i can present you know yeah and uh and it's been like we were just at lightbox we're gonna go to ctn there there was like i don't know like 10 occasions or so far that we showed that making off yeah and it's it's kind of fun and the, like you you get like teaching you know you get better at that presentation every time and mm -hmm. and so that's fun and at some point you sort of like also like i finished the movie in february so you also get detached from it and it's nice to come back together with the same people and just like reminisce about, you know, making it and you forget all the bad parts. Yeah. It's like a family reunion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 